he's been spotted at the sprawling Pabellon Rosarito shopping mall with the woman at Peter Piper Pizza. Elsewhere along the coastal strip that spans Tijuana and Rosarito Beach, Thomas Markle has patronized a taco shop, purchased beer, ordered a takeout sandwich at a local cafe, nothing remarkable for an American retiree leading a quiet life south of the border. But these days, no detail of Markle's life is too small for the paparazzi who come knocking on the door of his house overlooking the Pacific Ocean and follow his tracks to nearby businesses. Hard as he has tried, Markle cannot escape the limelight. His daughter, the former actress Meghan Markle, is preparing to marry into the British royal family on May 19. The British press depict Prince Harry's future father-in-law as a shy and reclusive man, and there's a question of whether he will walk her down the Isle of St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle, or deliver a father of the bride speech. He has not been giving interviews, no comment kids, thank you, Markle told staff from the London tabloid, The Sun, when they trailed him to a convenience store near his Baja California residence, and reported his purchase of three packs of cigarettes. Markle's life in Baja California is worlds away from Buckingham Palace, and the less formal lifestyle here seems better suited to the 73-year-old former soap opera lighting director. He makes his home in a quiet gated community overlooking the Pacific Ocean, one of a string of expat enclaves that line the toll road from Tijuana to Ensenada. He's an extremely laid-back man, with a very nice vibe, said Estefania Villarreal, owner of a coffee shop in a small strip mall near his house. He always tries to speak Spanish, he says, gracias, poor favor, very basic things, at the taco shop next door, Takero Israel Gonzalez could not place Markle's name one afternoon last week, but his face lit up as he recognized his customer from a photograph. Markle has a predilection for tacos dorados de pollo, the name for a small rolled-up tortilla, filled with chicken and deep-fried, Gonzalez said. Markle walks in with a smile, is friendly with staff, and always leaves a good tip, he added, he seems very nice, very unpretentious, it doesn't matter to him if you're rich or if you're poor. Gonzalez said, just imagine, that, one day he'll be the father-in-law of the British prince, and he interacts with us. Ramon Moreno, who rents out a storage unit to Thomas Markle, and said they have become friends. Sandra Dibble, Ramon Moreno, who rents out a storage unit to Markle, said he has also become his friend. He's very down-to-earth, a nice man, a loving man. Moreno said. He's one of those persons you see and like immediately, Moreno said that Markle is happy about his daughter's wedding. He's very excited, apparently they do have a good relationship. But, he gets very nervous about the press. He just wants to be by himself, he enjoys his privacy here. A former actress who starred in the television legal drama series Suits, Meghan Markle has spoken fondly about her father. A recent article in the Telegraph newspaper reports that in her deleted lifestyle blog, The Tig, Meghan Markle recalled how he would find the time to take her to her Saturday ballet class, despite working 75 hours a week. He took her on trips to Big Bear Lake, and helped with the lighting of her high school musical shows, the article said. In a 2016 article in LUK, she wrote about her biracial identity, half black and half white, growing up in a homogeneous community in Pennsylvania, the concept of marrying an African American woman was not on the cards for my dad, she wrote. But he saw beyond what was put in front of him in that small-sized, and, perhaps, small-minded, town, he wanted me to find my own truth. Thomas Markle worked lighting director on the set of the soap opera General Hospital, and the 1980s sitcom Married with Children. He was also a lighting consultant for another television sitcom, The Facts of Life. He is long divorced from Meghan Markle's mother, Doria Ragland, a social worker and yoga instructor. But the two issued a joint statement following their daughter's engagement last November. Our daughter has always been a kind and loving person. To see her union with Harry, who shares the same qualities, is a source of great joy for us parents. Today, the 73-year-old Markle is one of thousands of U.S. Retirees who live or vacation in Baja California, many of them in the enclaves that dot the coastline from Tijuana to Rosarito Beach. They say the area gives them an affordable and peaceful oceanfront lifestyle within easy reach of Southern California, allowing them to cross for doctor's appointments and shopping excursions. See more videos? We've had a lot of bad press, but I'd rather live here than Los Angeles or San Bernardino, said Donna Wilson, a retired school teacher originally from Nebraska. Living here is a lot more like the Midwest than Southern California. People wave when you walk by, for those eager for activity and connections, there are numerous ways to get involved. Members of the expat community support the Rosarito Beach Red Cross, and have formed a Friends of the Library chapter. They volunteer in local orphanages, take painting classes, go on wine tours, put on English language plays, and are known to frequent certain bars and restaurants. 
but others, like Markle, keep to themselves. And that's just fine, said Wilson, who lives in the same enclave but has never met him. I couldn't tell you if he lives here or not, she said. Bill Sperry, editor of the Baja Times and organizer of the annual Rosarito Beach Mariachi Festival, is one who tried to track down the father of the woman expected to be named. Duchess of Sussex, he likes to be